All right, welcome back, everyone. We are on episode 10 of John and Eric's Epic Adventures into Skyrim. So we are here at home. During our last episode, we went and got a bunch of new levels, especially in... I probably should have gone the other way. Uh, enchanting. There it is. So we're up to level 70 enchanting, which is excellent. Our goal is to try and hit level 75 so that we can do fortify skill enchantments that are much more powerful. That is going to allow us to create some epic new outfits, such as a potions outfit and a smithing outfit. And I, I don't know if you can create an enchanting outfit. I don't know if there's an enchanting enchantment. I don't think there is. But I definitely know that there are ones for smithing and potions. And the smithing one we are going to make because we are going to be working to get our smithing skill all the way up to level 100. Right now we're at 88. Today we'll probably put some perks into ebony smithing to get that up. We'll see how high we can get it with the, the resources we have. And then to end our episode today, we are going to be traveling down into Riften by carriage, turning in the Mara's Blessing quest so we can get the third part of that, which we know the third part is located back in Whiterun. And then we're also going to be taking out Broken Helm Hollow, which is part of the uh, Silverhand quest, and we might join the Dawn Guard. I think the Dawn Guard is going to be in our next episode. We're gonna start a little bit more proactively doing the uh, the DLC quest. So the Dawn Guard, and then Dragonborn DLC, which is taking on Mirak and Maeus Mora, and all that fun on Solstheim, right? So what we're gonna do right now uh, is eat in game. Have to do that. So water. We have any like garbage food? I guess the apple pie, right? So there, we got rid of our, our debuffs. Yes, happy Halloween. Today is October 31st in the real world. So we uh, we get to, <laughs> in game, we're gonna be making some costumes and I guess that's the same, you know. I I really, uh, if somebody in our community redeems a, uh, a costume I'll wear it here, except not the bear coat. Bear, bear coat is still warm, but. One of the things that we'll probably just do right now is we're going to grind through all of these. So one of the problems with all of these was that it takes time uh, in game in order to like research and analyze these. But one of the options that does exist, I'll do one of them just to kind of showcase it, is that you can go in here and break the item. And what that will do, if we quickly look at our enchanting level right about there, Breaking down one of these items gives a small amount of XP, right? And it's like, you know, you're going to use a blacksmith hammer, the item will be destroyed. Are you sure? And it takes a moment. So poof, and it explodes around you, leaves your inventory, but it gives you a little bit of experience. Just a little bit of experience. And so that's kind of minuscule. But if you have a bunch of them like this, then all of a sudden that's not so bad. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna spend like five or 10 minutes breaking all these down. We're going to put a bunch of common souls on or common soul gems on something. I don't know, we'll find something to enchant. And may maybe we'll smith some uh, some jewelry or something. Yeah, we'll, what we'll probably do is, oh yeah, we already have, we have a bunch of stuff we have to sell too. So we're gonna run around and do that first. We'll sell a bunch of stuff, we'll get our enchanting level up, and then we'll come back and kind of, I'll summarize all the stuff we do. So let's get off. All right, is this him? Come to me with questions. I know yes, our yes, this is him. As well as Excellent. It's all in the swing. So we'll do our heavy armor training. So this, this is going to be really painful. This is what we invest all of our gold into, right? So ow, 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 ow. Ow, we're poor again. <laughs> but we're level 82 on two-handed. Okay, so we started at 12k. We went up to 32k. So, so we made 20k gold, right? And then we lost all of it. We're down to 1,000 gold. Uh, or we'll put it into health, I guess. Mm. And we'll invest our perks, right? We'll put one here. We can put another one into... What can we invest? Right? 
Okay, blocks full, 200's full. I think speech is even full too. Oh yeah, alchemy. We can we can throw a few into alchemy, right? We'll do one for concentrated poisons. Um, that's that's applying them, right? And I think this one right here. Um, Thirty-three percent chance to double your production yield. That sounds like a pretty good one to invest in. Yeah, we've invested in. Is it alteration that I'm looking for? We need to be careful because eventually we want to get these perks. They're very important. Right? I mean, in, like, t just two perks. We're two perks away from getting an extra 10% um, magic resistance. That's a big deal. So, I think we're going to save this last perk for the alchemy effect here, regeneration. Which, we just need to have the, uh, the items in our inventory, and we heal an extra HP per second. Which, you know, that's pretty good, right? It's basically an extra bonus healing aura while you're in combat. So we're going to grab that. We might not invest in that because we're going to most likely craft a bunch of extra potions. Um, I probably should have saved another perk to put right into there. But, you know, um, I guess getting, bon uh, what is it, bonus mixtures? Yeah, you can consistently produce twice the amount of mixtures with the same amount of ingredients. So that's going to be really valuable for like making cash. So that was probably definitely worth putting it into. So what we'll do is we're going to run back. We're going to break down a bunch of those pesky broken enchantment pieces of, equi uh, of equipment. And then we'll see what our, what our level is, right? Yeah, and we just barely eked our way to level 43. What? Nah! Alright, so we are very close, very close to level 75 just by breaking down all of these, uh, these items, right? It's been pretty chill. I don't think we're gonna get a level out of this, but our... Do we have any more? Let me double check. We... We actually do have like a couple more in the chest here, right? We have, yeah, like imbued dragon bones and an old grimoire. And I don't really want to do anything to these because I feel like, you know, they're, they're both really expensive. Everything else was worth like five or 10 golds. These are much more expensive. And so I'd rather study them when the time comes. We did purchase a bunch of smaller gems here like petty six petty and then seven lesser right and then a bunch of other ones so i guess we'll quickly grab some of the uh the armor items that we have up here and some of them are just like clothing items that i had grabbed from before right the uh, like boots and gloves and stuff so we'll apply some enchantments to these and um yeah all the rest of this is enchantment it has to be sold still yeah. And we'll, uh, no, we'll, we'll just show this, right? Because we're, we're so close that, you know, here, we'll do a cloak. We'll do a petty soul gem. What do we got here, right? It's so, all, that's, that's the most valuable thing, right? And there we go. We're officially enchanting level 75. Nice. So let's throw the perk in. Do it right here, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go around shopping. We uh, we could go to Rifted, actually, and buy like to the clothing shop there to find the exact clothing we need. I think we might do that. Might as well come in anyway. So we'll start. Is this the uh... What are you doing that for? Yeah, Radiant Raymond. This is what we're starting with. Right, definitely. Come in and shut the door. Come in and shut the door. Oh, what delight. Another charming customer. They're pretty creative with their marketing. Excellent. We'll make an investment. I think you'll be glad Oh no, that's our last 500 gold. If you change your mind, you Let's see if we can't find an outfit that suits you. Hmm. Um So here's the thing, right? Let's let's hope this works. We have all these, right? So this, the first one's worth 800 gold. 
Excellent. We'll make I an investment. We'll be, thank you. I'll be sure to put it to good breaches, guys. Let's see if she gives us a better area. deal. No, she gives us the same amount. Ah! Stay safe. Figures. Our magic is low. What's our speech at? 132. Good lord. And we're thirsty, right? I think. There we go. Hello, Breaches, guys. Yeah, and we're friends. For any occasion, really. And she doesn't even give us a better deal, right? Some friend you are. Whatever. More, give us more gold, please. Do we have any cheap jewelry that we can sell here? Um, oh, what was that? No, we're keeping that. Yeah, we'll sell that thing. Excellent. So now, what we're looking for is... Something that we can... Like... So we, we need an enchanter's set... A... Do we need an enchanter set? I can't remember. I don't think you can actually create an enchanting outfit. I know you can make a uh, smithing and an alchemy set. So we need to figure out... What would... A crabber's charm? What would look good? That has little work if you're interested Kit. Do we need... Let's see. Builder chefs... Tailors. We need a tailor's kit. Damn. Arms and arms. First, I thought I'd miss farming. No problem. How can I help? We need wood. Is there anything else you need? We need wood, which means we need a woodcutter's axe. You should see me when you get bored. Uh, oh, oh, oh! Scavenge. Yes. Two wood. Excellent. Very nice. That's how it's done. Ba, ba, ba. So now we can make our tailor's kit, and then we can see all of the possible things that we could make. Tailor's kit. Tailor's toolkit show recipes. Ooh. Hello. So here's like all the, the bearskin things. We, we can make bearskin hoods, right? What else we got here? Thalmer boots. Cultist robes. There's all the different fine hats. Oh, there's like different recipes too. Different fur mantled stuff. Oh, there's tons of different recipes. A we can make our own jester's outfit. Ah! Uh, that would be really weird, but we're not gonna do that. Let me run up and I'm gonna take a look at what it takes to craft some of those really expensive robes. And then we'll see if they sell all of the ingredients in that little shop. So we search by I've value. Got, I've got right. weapons for given and armor for getting. Like, I think these would be perfect. These right here would be... Oh, well, let me zoom in. But uh, we need two steel ingots, four leather strips, leather, four silk thread, four silk cloth which is blue, and two silk cloth, which is purple. Oh, but they're not. Hawk feathers, silk thread. Oh, there's like, oh, the, uh, one of them requires a bear pelt. I think, isn't this what Ulfric Stormcloak wears, right? And the wedding finery, and then the... <laughs> oh, right, and we wanted to make these, too. What was this? Yeah, the hoods. All right. Let's, uh, let's just go buy a bunch of dyed silk. I don't know how to dye silk, so we'll, we'll purchase it. Sounds good to me. Come in and shut the door. Hello, friend. Take a look. So we're looking here, right? At the 
What? What? Hey, a large animal bone. We'll, t we'll take it. She's not going to sell us silk? Like the raw silk? I'll see you again soon, I hope. Damn. Sister dear, could you try sewing these sleeves a little tighter? We can't have a customer we break stuff down? sloppy because of your work. Oh, certainly, dear sister. The linen. We couldn't afford to have our customers look like the simple pigs they are. Or could I don't see anything we can break down for and silk. It, perhaps you could sew your mouth shut when our fine customers are within earshot. Hmm? We're just yelling at each other. That's great. All right. Well, I guess we're just gonna use what we can get, because I'm lazy. We're gonna make three kits. So there's one chest plate. Let's get a better than one of us. Does does she I'm sell them? She's here. gotta sell them. Breaches, gowns, clothes for any occasion, really. Just by the highest value here. No, no, not mage hoods. The the crab charms are amazing though. They're so ridiculous. Just give me two of these. Fine. Stay safe. Wow, the carriage ride only takes like 30 minutes in game. It's pretty good. Costs 500 gold though. I think what we'll do, just because I am curious, is See what the different types of horse armor is. Smith. And then horse. Horse. Oh my goodness. So we're looking for this one. This one right here. Black hand. Black hand. Oh, so we have Dwarman. Uh, Dwarven, right? 350. Whoa! Okay. Takes eight ebony ingots. And there's two different styles, too. Damn. Yeah, so there is one set of armor that's better, right? Only one. That's the ebony. Eight ebony ingots is what we would have to use. And it's expensive, too. Ooh. I don't know. Wow. Here, hold on. <gasps> oh, <laughs> that, that was not the button I was trying to hit. Um, this was the button I was trying to hit. Do another one with Eric not in the way. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna do two sets, the alchemy and the smithing. Better grab all the grand soul gems. 21 of them. Okay. Gotta be quick. Here, quick save. We have 60 seconds. Y'all ready? Where is it? Oh, they're at the... Where's... There they are. I was like, where are they? All right, all right. Fortify enchanting. So we do... Grand. Fortify smithing. No. Ah, this is so stressful. Oh, uh, we can't re no, screw renaming them. Uh, quick, quick, quick. Blacksmith boots. Fire resist. Grand soul gem. Yes. Grand soul gem. Smithing. I'm gonna run out of time. Um, as long as we get the black ones done here. And then, what else? Necklace, smithing, grand soul gem. Yes.
Ring, where's the rings? Where are the rings? Next up is alchemy. I think it ran out. That's okay. Uh, gloves, we'll do the brown one. Fine hat, I can't remember if I already enchanted these, but we're gonna do another one. And I think that's everything. Right here, uh, everything right here. So we have four pieces of alchemy and four pieces for smithing, right? So all of the smithing pieces fortify the skill by nine points. We also have some fire resist shoes because they match the blacksmithing outfit. And then most of our al fortify alchemy items increase it by 8%, except for, I think, no, they all do 8%, right? So, which is pretty good. I mean, combined, that's like, you know, more than 30% to increase the effectiveness of our potions. And I guess for, let's see, for, uh, what would that be? Whatever 18 times 2 is, that's around 35, it's more than 35% for smithing. So that's pretty good. For potions, I just kind of threw these in here. That was the other fortify enchanting. We also have some fortify smithing potions, which are, you know, they're decent, right? They're literally decent. And then a couple of other things in here that we're not really gonna use right now. I mean, we could get our enchanting level up if we wanted to still, but we've we've pretty much created like the main things that we want to. So right now, what we're gonna be doing is we're going to go around, sell a couple of these potions of water breathing. This should easily take like 15, I think it's it's at least 10 to 15,000 gold that we're gonna get from the townsfolk by selling these. From there, we are going to be traveling down to Riften, turning in that quest, and going on and taking Broken Helm Hollow. It's gonna be the bulk of today's episode. And we'll uh, we'll visit Fort Dawnguard. That'll, that might be the end of our ep uh, episode tonight, is just kinda completing these other two things. So, We'll sell some items. We might do a little bit of alchemy before we leave um, because we want to do skill training. We haven't done skill training for level 43 and we would put that into two-handed, which is 82. So we'll go sell some stuff and use that money to get some training. Let's see, think I can make it? What? No! <laughs> Ah, uh, okay. Um, Come to me with questions. There we go. It's all in the swing. All right, Vilkis. How many it. levels will you give us? Uh, at least four, right? Ow, 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 ow. Yeah. So it's a step in the right direction. What we'll do is we'll very quickly craft a few other potions, right? And we'll use those to bolster our gold a little bit and get the last level. And then we'll we'll head out. At this point, I'm just willing to kind of take, like, whatever level we can get, right? I'm still trying to figure out she can why train us in the lock. In the first place. I think we might take it. If the circle vow, I can. It might save your life. You know, it's it's not that much gold. Whatever. Stick it into health. We're halfway to 45. What should we do with our new purr? Hmm. We might end up using it to unlock a new tree. We could do conjuration or illusion. Why don't we just save it for now? And we're, you're really good, maybe the best, and that's why it's so hard to get better. <laughs> I've been running. In Ayala could train us in archery eye. now. We just want to power through it. It's an option. I'll take my leave then. I think what we'll do is we'll drop off all of our other potions that we have here, um, all the rest of these, everything else, right? 
And no, you know what? We'll bring them. We'll bring them and we're going to sell them in Riften. So that is going to be our next play. So we'll bring them and we're going to travel to Riften right now, sell all of our potions, turn in the Mara's Blessing quest, and then we're going to end our episode with a little bit of combat. Excellent. All right, excellent. Uh, before, of Mara upon you. before we do this, nah. Lady Mara bids you welcome to her ben. Take she a look. Have, there's, yeah, she has no gold. Um, is there anything we could trade for? Oh, fancy. Leather wedding sandals. Nice. That'd be good if we had a female character and we wanted to do that as a um, like an alchemy head thing. So anyway, I help the lovers and force uh, my heart. Smiles Not forsworn. <laughs> The dawn shines bright upon you. You have seen the young, fickle love of youth and helped a more seasoned love find its way. There is one final aspect we wish for you to explore, for a strong love can withstand storms and even survive death. Take this symbol of Mara. She will guide you to the wandering souls of two whose love was so great that their entwinement Binds them to this world. Cool. The dawn surely opens upon you, child. You must bear its light that all may see. Yeah, we'll get around to it. So, our next goal is. Come on. Running right down here, Brokenham Hollow. So, we're gonna do that right. Oh, and it looks like we had a redemption claim for the Dr. Seuss hat. Let's put that on. Let's get going. So the one thing I have to be really careful about is I don't accidentally kill Eric with our new really powerful sword. It's the one thing I'm very paranoid about. Oh, we get to go into the big smelly cave. Ah! Oh! Ah! Who did that? Cave up. Trouble. Excellent. Okay. Oh yeah, these are silver hand, right? Yes, these are the... Wow. I wonder if they're vampires too. Interesting. So their silver swords have a base value of 20. I guess we'll take them. Right? Sounds good to me. <laughs> yeah, they're good enough that we can take them. But we'll put them on the horse. We're gonna have a ton of uh, cure... I think is it cure poison or cure disease? I'm not too sure. Taking, Killing a man and taking his boots is true medieval immersion, right? Just like in the World Wars. I don't think we really need any more of these. Are we hidden? Yeah, we are going to take this. We're gonna take a beef stew, and we're going to take a bone of her seeds. So there we go, there's all our buffs, right? Excellent. We'll give Eric a healing aura. More excited than bard songs. Oh, don't worry, Eric. Party's just begun. Say we just charge it. I don't think I like where this is going. Hello. Anybody home? No way. No, like I, I swear, if there's only like five people in here. I I heard something. Oh no! Just stop me! No! Was that it? That that's it. That was the quest. So we took all these buffs. But nothing. Oh, she takes skooma too. Yeah. Cooked torker meat. <sighs> yeah, well. We'll perform rites on her. But 
I mean, at least we cleared the cave, right? And hopefully we'll find some, uh, some decent... Ooh, Battle of Sanctuary, nice. A trapped chest. Should be pretty simple. Why do they have so many skulls? It's a little suspicious. Like, human skulls. Kind of creepy. What we got? Yeah, I guess we can sell those. Uh, flammable oil we can turn into um, tinder. 80 gold. I guess we, we might... Nah, like, we're not going to craft any more clothing, so... Well, this was all just kind of depressing. There's nothing here. Oh, wait. Oh, oh. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. What do we got? Ooh, oh my. Good lord. Report Lifenar's death to his family at Hartwood Mill. Aw. Oh. Lightning sparks. Poor guy. How do we know where to report his death to? So sad. Here I was expecting like, oh boy, more treasure. Nope, just, just death. Extra death. I'd like some wood too. Silver great sword, garnet. Anything else? Eh. Well, that was too bad. We'll break through that just because, and we we aren't even gonna take the mushrooms because what are we gonna do with them? So. That was it. Okay. I do really like the waterfall, though. All right, I think, what was this last uh, miscellaneous quest, right? Where is that? Oh, that's too bad. Feeling kind of lazy and don't really want to ride out there to do that, but. Since we have, we seem to have plenty of time, we're gonna very quickly ride out to Fort Dawnguard. We'll learn more about the Dawnguard, and just from metagaming, I know that the place they want us to go next is like right up here, so which, which is right north of Whiterun, so we're gonna head out there, and uh, so we're gonna head out to Fort Dawnguard and learn a little bit more about killing vampires, since, I mean, we literally just killed one in Riften, so. We're, we're noticing the vampire menace. So we'll head out there. The place really is beautiful, isn't it? Here to join the Dawn Guard? Good. Isran will decide if you've got what it takes. Go on, he's right inside. I like your shield. All right. Dawn Guard time. Why are you here, Tolan? The Vigilance and I were finished with each other a long time ago. You know why I'm here. The Vigilance are under attack everywhere. The vampires are much more dangerous than we believed. And now you want to come running to safety with the Dawn Guard, is that it? I remember Keeper Cosset telling me repeatedly that Fort Dawn Guard is a crumbling ruin, <laughs> not worth the expense and manpower to repair. And now that you've stirred up the vampires against you, you come begging for my protection. Isran. Karset is dead. The Hall of the Vigilance. Everyone. They're all dead. You were right. We were wrong. Isn't that enough for you? I never wanted any of this to happen. I tried. So who are you? Oh! What do you want? It's not what I was expecting. Um... I heard you're looking for vampire hunters. You heard right. I'm glad word's finally starting to get around. But that means it won't be long before the vampires start to take notice as well. Oh, uh, what can I do to I help? I need someone out in the field taking the fight to the damn vampires. Mm. While we're getting the fort back into shape. Tolan was telling me about some cave the Vigilants were poking around in. Seemed to think it was related to these recent vampire attacks. Tolan, tell him about... what was it? 
Dim Hollow. Yes, that's it. Dim Hollow Crypt. Brother Adelwald was sure it held some long-lost vampire artifact of some kind. We didn't listen to him any more than we did Isran. He was at the hall when it was attacked. That's good enough for me. Go see what the vampires were looking for in this dim hollow crypt. With any luck, they'll still be there. Here, you should take a crossbow. Good for taking out those fiends before they get close. Feel free to poke around the fort and take what you need. There isn't much yet, but you're welcome to anything you can use. I'll meet you at Dim Hollow. It's the least I can do to avenge my fallen comrades. Tolan, I don't think that's a good idea. You vigilants were never trained I for... know what you think of us. You think we're soft, that we're cowards. You think our deaths proved our weakness. Stendar granted you do not have to face the same test and be found wanting. I'm going to Dim Hollow Crypt. Perhaps I can be of some small assistance to you. You there, boy. Stop skulking in the shadows and step up here. What's wait. your name? Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, we have a quest to turn in. Uh, I'm a... Uh... Oh. No! <laughs> Where did he go? No, we're over encumbered. Ugh. It's so frustrating. I was trying to catch up to him, but then we were over encumbered by what? All of these. Oh well. No, you I'll meet you in Dim Hollow Crypt. I owe these vampires a debt of vengeance. The vampire tethering uh terrorizing Excellent. the rift is dead. You've done us a great <laughs> service. Here is your reward. <laughs> and his voice changes. Stand our watch over you. Okay, anyway, we're I missed it. I was trying to turn that in. But... And let it out as you fire. Alright, yeah, they're they're all done. So I'm gonna take just a quick look around uh Fort Don Guard here and see if we can find any cool resources we can use. But otherwise I I I think that might be it, right? I think we've we've turned this in. We're gonna head back to White Run. We are going to here it is, Dim Hollow Crypt, right up here, right? So we're gonna return to, uh, and turn in the Silver Hand quest. We're probably gonna take out a giant on the next episode. Uh, we'll do a little bit more crafting and selling and training and stuff like that, and then we're gonna see what those pesky vampires are up to. So thank you all so much for hanging out. Hope you have. Oh, Eric, Eric, not right there. Hope you have a wonderful day. Bye, everyone. <laughs>